While working with Snowpark, you need to establish a connection with Snowflake. We have already seen how to authenticate a user using basic authentication as well as using key pair authentication in our previous videos. This video will talk about SSO based authentication where you as a user don't have a password for your Snowflake account. Rather, it is integrated using your enterprise single sign-on, be it Azure Active Directory or Okta Authentication or any other identity provider. And in that case, how our authentication parameter would look like. So our Snowpark program can establish a connection with Snowflake. This is a short video, so stay tuned until the end. Welcome back to my channel, Data Engineering Simplified and to this Snowpark hands-on playlist. I am going to use VS Code Editor to run my Snowpark program that uses Python 3.8.16 and Snowpark version 1.3.4. These videos are recorded in 4K resolution. Follow the instruction for better resolution and to learn it faster. Before we proceed, I have a quick announcement. I have published more than 100 videos covering different topics under different playlists. And if you find it hard to get into a specific topic or a subtopic or a specific concept, use this summary card for a quick search. Summary card download instruction is given in the description below. For additional queries or a specific question, feel free to drop me a note to my Instagram account. When you try to access your organization's Snowflake instance using a valid Snowflake instance URL, the page will appear with single sign-on option as shown here. Even if you give your Active Directory user ID and password in the username and password field, it would not work. Snowflake expects you to click on a single sign-on button and get your user ID authenticated. And when you write a Snowpark program, you have to provide that option. So your authentication for your Snowpark program will happen via single sign-on and rest everything will be taken care by Snowpark Python API under the hood for you. So let's jump to our VS Code. So this is my VS Code. On the left side, you can see I have Snowpark with my basic authentication and on the right side, I have my Snowpark with key-based authentication. My connection parameter for basic authentication takes account ID, user ID and password. On the other side, if I am authenticating through RSA key pair based authentication, then it takes account ID, user ID and the private key. And for that, I have to export couple of other import function from our cryptography module. Our SSO authentication also looks very similar to our basic authentication, except one key value from your connection parameter. So when I keep this program side by side and on the right side, I have Snowpark with SSO and on the left side, I have Snowpark with my basic authentication. There is only one attribute which differs in the connection parameter is called authenticator. You have to replace your password keyword with authenticator and you have to specify external browser. And this is very similar to your Python connector or any other connector. Once it is done, nothing else is required. And then this will automatically open a browser, get it authenticated and your program will continue from here. So let me run this program for you. So the moment I started the program, it has opened a browser and from that browser, it has done the authentication using single sign on. And this is how the message appeared. It says your identity was confirmed and propagated to Snowflake Python Snowpark. You can close this window and now go back to where you started from. And this is my current session ID, which has been established through this program. Just by including this authentication as a key value pair in your connection parameter, you enable the single sign on authentication in your Snowpark program. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any feedback or a comment to share, please use the comment box below or drop me a note in my Instagram account. Happy learning and keep growing.